Hello, 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 traders. Um, welcome to another Bitcoin update. Uh, as Bitcoin is now reaching some key important levels, so I thought why not uh, come out and do a quick video for you all, showing you guys where we are and where we've come from and where potentially we could be heading towards. So um, I'll try and keep this uh, sweet and short or short and sweet and let's go. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So I said I'd keep this short, so let's go. 48,000, it was a very key level for Bitcoin to get through. Um, that didn't happen, and the point of control of the range um, was just too strong. So the 47 to 100, uh, Bitcoin couldn't get above that. Um, so by um, obviously creating the slow here, you know, the move back up was going to be at least a hedge position. Um, not 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 entirely a short per se, but at least hedging your portfolio, which at the time was what I was doing. I was um, uh, obviously looking at this range, and uh, forty seven one hundred and sixty eight is where I was trying to um, obviously jump into hedge because we were simply um, at the uh, range high of this range uh, upon seeing the break and then the react the rejection here as well. So. Um, this is a place where you don't long, you don't long up here. You look to short or hedge your portfolio. Um, so I was saying here, look, um, da -da -da -da, look closely at the weekly range. At the 75, we start to look for shorts. Never long up there for swings, obviously, and look for longs at the low of the range. Uh, and so on um, my public video the other day, I said that that 44 100 was a key level and that there was no reason to long yet as we need to see a sign of strength. And for me, a sign of strength would have been at least reclaiming that weekly low, which we never did. Um, so as you can see on Bitcoin chart, it's been like a downfall all the way through um, until we are now. So where we are now is actually quite interesting because we have reached our first support. We also filled the uh, single print, which was at 41 to 125. Um, single prints are like, you know, my one of my favorites because it's like a magnet to price where, you know, we often see price coming back to those key levels, uh, as I'll show you here on this chart. So you can see you've got the single print here, price comes down, fills it, and then finds support on the other end, which is obviously a daily here. So this is actually a good area which I am interested in looking for the order flow and potentially, um, you know, see what the reaction here is going to be. So this is a good level to keep an eye on. Um, so single prints done. Obviously, we're at support now. We can zoom in right now and see exactly what's happening down here on a low time frame. You can see the reaction. Actually, this low here was on the single print. Look at that. That was perfect. So first reaction then completely fills it below and hits the daily, which is the 40,994. You may be wondering what's a single print. Well, don't worry, because if you want to learn what a single print is, um, head over to our, our website and we cover this in detail under the TPO series, which is an advanced order flow and a, a type of charts that we look at. Um, so single prints, one of my favorite topics. Um, yeah, we cover this in great detail. So do take a look. And while I'm up here, uh, also every day, George covering his daily update. So he's already finished this morning's update. And uh, yeah, very good indeed. He will talk you through um, order flow uh, levels and uh, potential um, uh, upcoming levels as well, uh, as well as answering questions. Um, he does that every day. So shout out to George. Back to Bitcoin, and uh, yeah, you can see here that daily level really trying to hold price up. Let's just zoom in quickly while we're here and see the reaction here. Uh, and there you go. So you've got the daily here. Um, quite interesting to see, right? Um, you can see like a, a clear fight here between the bulls and the bears. Uh, just out of interest, what's order flow? So uh, 41,800, that's a very key level, you know, for the bulls to reclaim. Um, weekly low now uh, currently at 40,952. Uh, open interest, uh, not, not, not nothing to shout home about. 
um, slight divergences, but we teach all the order flow um, at the website. Um, quite a few people getting wrecked on here, you can see by the liquidations. Um, so very good way to look at the charts here. You've got so much data. Uh, it can be, uh, it can look overwhelming, but once you, um, once you um, learn each component, it's, um, yeah, it's quite simple to get your head around it. But yeah, that area here, you can see all this confluence, you know, like Bitcoin, if the bulls really want to push price up, they really need to get above this level, um, which is around the 41,850. Uh, okay, so let's go here and see what other confluences we have around that level. Uh, okay, let's have a look. So that's the daily support, and you can see the reaction here currently. Okay, so let's take the single print off, and if this is to be the low, then the uh, uh, higher time frame, sort of like uh, CC, will be at around 45. Um, but we're not going to think about that level yet because that's quite far away. What you could say is that the, the next level above us in terms of resistance is around the D, 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 uh, 42, 750. So that will be your next sort of um, resistance above. Um, currently, we're at support. We trade level to level. So um, these are the two levels that I'm going to be interested in today. Uh, obviously, not to forget about the, uh, yeah, the 41, 800. And 50 so that's a key level to reclaim uh, what else we have here uh, da, 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 the one on one failed and the next one is around this daily down here as well which is the uh, support two at around 39 that's quite far away we're not going to think about that just yet because um, we will trade level to level so this is the first level which is where we are right now and then above we've got the 42,000 uh, resistance and then we've got another one at 39 so level to level no need to be greedy no need to be fearful uh, it's just simple trading what the markets gives us uh, failing that let's just clean a little bit of this that's obviously quite far away as well but that's where the uh, higher time frame sort of like stop losses are down here you could expect a, a very nice reaction if we do trade down there that's quite far away though uh, this was the range point of control which we are currently losing. So get back above this level, the 42,000 area, and that's you know a sign of like the bulls trying to regain control of this market. However, like I said, there's quite a bit of work to be done here. And just another thing I'd like to show you though is obviously you know the stock market and everything else, it's obviously a key part that we should always keep an eye on uh, when it comes to Bitcoin trading as well. So, for example, DXY, the dollar index, it's recently, on Friday last week, reached the, uh, the one mark. Um, so, obviously, we're not trying to call tops or bottoms on these markets, but we can use it as like a... Um, a sort of gauge to, um, you know, anything that trades against USD. Uh, if this is going up, obviously, we can do the inverse correlation. So, for example, here you can see the XY going up to the 100 mark, where, for example, Bitcoin will be going down. Okay, so it's like inverse correlation, uh, as well as the S&P. For example, you can see clearly uh, the XY goes up, S&P goes down, and vice versa. Okay, so um, the XY and S&P inverse correlation, same in Bitcoin. So I like to, you know, keep an eye on those two as well to gauge, you know, is there more downside or upside? But obviously DXY being at this kind of like key, key area, um, it kind of like, you know, plays a high importance role on, you know, some decisions that we take on Bitcoin because I'll be looking at the S&P, you know, where are we? Are we at support? You know, what, what level are we on? Is there more downside um, potentially? Um, and then just uh, obviously take that information across and try and use it with Bitcoin. And to recap, um, obviously we're at support until um, obviously lost. Uh, until then, we remain cautious and we don't want to be shorting support. You'd never want to be shorting down here. This is support, okay? You don't short down here ever. Support, no shorts. This is a place where we look for longs no shorts, okay? Uh, the uh, key place to obviously reclaim is around the uh, 41,850. So you want to see Bitcoin break above this level. 
And like I said, look, you don't look for shorts on here. Like anyone shorting down here is going to be instantly underwater and is going to get forced to be stopped out, basically. They're going to get stopped out because you don't short support, like ever. You know, down here, you look for longs. You know, I might be sounding like a broken record, but that's exactly what people do. People see, um, you know, the red and they just want to short. And you don't do that, not at support, okay? Down here, you look for longs. Up here, you look for shorts. So... The next key area, like I said, is the 41,850. So we want to keep an eye there, see what happens. Do we reclaim that level? Then if we get a pullback with some sort of like bullish EVD divergences, then we go into our gears and uh, change change that. Obviously, not financial advice. Uh, you do what you think it's best for you. Uh, this is just uh, uh, for educational purposes only and uh, my uh, view on the charts. Um, and with that, I think it's time to wrap up. So I hope and wish you all a, a very good day and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye bye.